Hi, I'm Christy Johns from Australian Online News. Well, doctors say more and more women are choosing to get cosmetic surgery to make their lips fuller, but there can be serious consequences if it's not done properly. Here to talk about the trends and dangers is Dr. Vivek Aranki. Dr. Aranki, what are the hottest lip filler trends at the moment? Yeah, so lip fillers are one of the most common procedures. So at Cosmetique here, we perform about 2,000 lip fillers every month. So what the patients desire really depends on their age and their demographic. So the majority of our patients tend to be younger and the younger patients prefer lips that are bigger and fuller. More and more, we are seeing patients asking for this thing called the Russian lip filler technique. And what that involves is a more pronounced look. So what we do is we augment the border even more so that the border becomes a lot more prominent as well as we inject into the body of the lip as well so that from the side it can either look flat or full depending on what the patient wants but front on the lips look quite large but the good news with injectable treatments such as lip fillers is that it is reversible so there are ways of dissolving the lip fillers and it works it works quite well another trend in russia is devil lips is that really a real thing and have you performed that procedure before um, so the devil lips is, uh, I, I, I've seen the images as well. So what that is, is that's injecting the lips in a manner that is not compliant with their natural anatomy. So it forms more into the body modification rather than augmenting what is naturally there. So for that reason, if any patients do come in asking for any body, body modification surgeries, we don't perform that. And you see a lot of people coming in with botched lip jobs. What can go wrong? Yeah, so it's unfortunate that we do see this a bit, but it's important to remember that lip injections is a medical procedure. So the active ingredient is a scheduled drug. So as with any medical procedure, there are risks involved. And the most common risks with injectable treatments is pain, bruising, but you can get more significant complications such as infections, such as vascular issues, and such as significant asymmetry. And we are seeing more and more of that, unfortunately, with time. And this is also a reflection of how cosmetic treatment has become more commoditized. And there are people do, performing this procedure with less and less experience. But I mean, so many women are getting this done. Um, why do you think that is? Well, I mean, for one, um, injectable treatment is becoming more and more commoditized. So it's more and more available. In the, in the olden days, there weren't many practitioners who were performing it. The other thing that's happening is the, the, um, the procedure is getting safer and safer. So if you look at the treatments available nowadays, as opposed to treatments available about 20 years ago, the, the safety profile of the injectable treatments nowadays is a lot better than what was available in the past. And finally, social media has a role to play as well. So in the past, I mean, back in my day, we didn't have Instagram or Facebook, but nowadays people do compare how they look to how their friends look. And thanks to the COVID pandemic, we've also had more and more people using mediums such as Zoom. So they get to see themselves more and more on screen. And when people do that for extended periods of time, they do pick out imperfections that they want addressed. What's your advice for someone looking at getting lip fillers? Yeah, so my advice is that they go to a reputable clinic. So when they go to a reputable clinic, what I mean by that is that is it a medical clinic or is it a beauty clinic? You don't want to go to an injector that dabbles in lip fillers. So you don't want to go to a place, you don't want to go to a GP clinic that does a little bit of injectables. You don't want to go to a salon or a beauty clinic or a laser clinic that does a little bit of injectables. You want to go to a place that specializes in it. The other thing I would ask is what products are they using? You got you have to make sure that the uh, products that are used are TG approved and they're from reputable brands as well. So brands such as Allergan and Galderma have the best best safety ratings out of all the others. Um, the other things I'd basically look for is the experience of the injector. So the more somebody performs something, the safer they're going to be at it as well. The final thing I'd, I'm asking to check is the training as well. So in Australia, the peak body for cosmetic medical and surgical training is the Australian College of Cosmetic Surgeons. And they basically set up a program to make sure that the practitioners are very safe at how they perform the procedures. Well, thank you so much for your time. No problems. For more, visit australianonlinenews.com.au.